Hey guys, this is Sam, and in today's video, we are talking all about iOS 7.1.2, which Apple released to all compatible iOS 7 compatible running devices earlier today at the time of recording this video. So jumping right into the change log, in this update, Apple says the following things have been changed and improved, and even there is a security update in this. So number one, this update improves iBeacon connectivity and stability. If you aren't aware what iBeacons are, they're basically these indoor proximity sensors that have the ability to send your iOS device a push notification when you get near them. So I guess the way I look at it, look at these uh, look at the iBeacon sensors is that if you're in an Apple store and you walk by maybe the section with the iPhone 5S, it would send you a push notification saying maybe ask a Apple store employee for more information or maybe if you trade in your iPhone 4S, you can get a $99 iPhone 5S, some sort of a push notification that enhances your shopping experience. But moving on to some further changes, this update also fixes a bug with data transfer data transfer for some third-party accessories, including barcode scanners. And finally, iOS 7.1.2 corrects an issue with data protection class of mail attachments. So the last one is good. There was actually an issue in iOS 7.1.1 and below as far as I'm aware that when you would send an attachment with an email from the default mail app in iOS, the attachment would not be encrypted, so it's very good to see that iOS 7.1.2 beefs up the security on your iOS device even more than before. Now talking about, well, should I update, is iOS 7.1.2 worth going through the hassle to update if I'm already jailbroken or something along the line of that? So my advice for you is that if you're not jailbroken and you just take iOS for what it is, definitely go ahead and update via the settings app, general software update, and tap download and install and you'll be good to go as far as updating goes. But if you are jailbroken on iOS 7.1.1 already, you do have a couple of options. Number one is you can just stay on iOS 7.1.1. Like I said, 7.1.2 isn't a big release. You really won't be missing out on anything in my opinion. However, you won't have the newest, freshest version of Apple's iOS, and as far as what I'm going to do, I'm the kind of guy when a new software update comes out, if it is jailbreakable, I will be of course restoring to iOS 7.1.2, reinstalling all of my tweaks, and kind of starting fresh again in the jailbreak scene, at least on both of my jailbroken devices. But once again, it's up to you. I would recommend, this is just me updating to the latest version of iOS because I don't know, I just love that latest version of iOS feeling if that makes sense to any of you guys out there. So I would recommend updating to 7.1.2 and re-jailbreaking again. But of course, in the end, the final decision is up to you. It's totally understandable how big of a process it is to un-jailbreak and re-jailbreak once again. So guys, that was pretty much everything that's been discovered so far that is new relating to iOS 7.1.2. If you did enjoy watching this video, as always, feel free to click the like button right down below. And if you were interested in seeing more content for myself talking about future iOS updates and pretty much everything related to iOS, definitely feel free to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any of my future content. So once again, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video, and I'll see all of you in the next one.